there welcome to Angelica's corner my name is Angelica and in today's video I'm going to be doing a emergency fund update as well as how much I made on my side income so let's go ahead and get started with the video if you like watching videos related to budgeting savings and becoming debt free don't forget to subscribe down below if you're new to my channel welcome and if you're a returning subscriber or viewer welcome back as I was saying, I'm going to be doing an emergency update. I do Uber Eats on the side, only about two, sometimes three hours a week. I don't have time, honestly, and I, I'm trying to change that habit that I want to do more hours, but I'm always so busy because I'm running my store, this, and a whole bunch of things at the same time. But anyways, the way I have this set up in my big happy planner is I have Uber Eats weekly total, Uber Eats taxes this week my emergency fund from last week total and the new emergency fund number amounts added to my fund and my taxes total i just like doing things this way i don't know that's just me i enjoy seeing these numbers and it gives me an idea but let's go ahead and f check how much i made i went to the bank today and i have here let's see So I have 20, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, and 59. I made 59 and some change on Uber Eats. I did two hours and I believe it was like 22 minutes or 23 minutes around there. I'll add it up here so you guys can see how much I made. I, by the way, do weekly updates for my emergency fund and I'll link up here my last emergency fund video so you go ahead and watch it. I also created a playlist if you want to watch from the beginning so you can see my progress. Go right ahead and click on playlist and you will see them for set up as emergency funds. So for this Uber Eats weekly total, I'm using a Stabilo pen and this is a .88, this is a Sienna color. I'm gonna write down here $59 that I made for Uber. And then I'm going to now see how much is gonna go into my Uber Eats taxes. I'm doing 59 times 0.20. I take 20% off. That means I gotta take $11.80. And what I'm gonna do, I'm only gonna take $11. I'm not even gonna worry about the 80 cents because I always take sometimes a little bit more, a little bit less. So I'm gonna add here that I'm taking out $11 from Uber Eats taxes for the week. So let's check here how much. I have one. I know I have a 10 right here. Yes, I do. So there goes 11. Let's put this money on the side and what I always like to do is I like to automatically add this into my taxes first and then I go ahead and fill out an emergency fund tracker and also add this to my emergency fund envelope, whatever I have left over. So $11 is going to be going into my taxes envelope and we're going to see how much I have total of taxes. Here's my uh, taxes for Uber Eats so far that I've saved. Um, um, it's a lot of ones and tens and stuff because I, sorry, I'm like organizing as best as I can. This I'll pay it at the end of the year. That is what I have planned. I know I was reading that you need to do $600. That's what you get taxed on the total of the $600. But I'm already taking taxes out because I don't want to, you know, make my life more difficult than it already is with things. If I could prevent that. That's why I always advise start taking taxes up from your side incomes because it's not worth it having that stress at the end of the year. So I have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, and 89. So 89 dollars goes into that's my total taxes so far saved so let's add that here $89 total 89 we're gonna be adding to my funds I have left 20 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 and 48 will be added into 
my emergency fund this round. Well, that is awesome. So 48. I'm gonna add here amount added for this week. 48. Last week I counted some money wrong and what I did was before I started this video for this emergency fund, I went ahead and I counted my money. I had extra money added into my envelope that I was not, somehow was must have been counting it wrong and I noticed it when I started filling out my emergency fund. My emergency fund from last week is 451. That is the true number. I counted it multiple times to make sure and now for this round, I'm going to bring my calculator because obviously I'm not, I can't be trusted no more with the money. So 451 plus, I said 49, 48, see what I mean? 48 is 499, wow, well, I'm at the 500 mark already. 499 is my new emergency fund. Let me add this money in here and we'll count how much. In total, already counted it with a calculator. We'll do one more time, because why not, right? So I like seeing money counted. So 100, 150, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 300, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 400, 1, 2, 3, 460, 470, 480, 490, 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, ninety-nine. So I'm, I did it right. And let's go ahead fill out this tracker. I have some new little project here. I changed my emergency fund tracker. I got excited. I've been wanting to use this tracker. You could, you could find this tracker in my Etsy shop, and the name of my Etsy shop is called the Tracker's Corner. I'll leave the link down below of the exact tracker in my Etsy shop, so you go ahead and see. I love this tracker. I've been wanting to use it for a while. This is an emergency fund for one thousand dollar. It says you did it, and it starts. It's a ten dollar increment all the way to one thousand. I did not add the money symbol in case someone from another country who has a different money symbol wants to use it but it says start saving and I started coloring so I'll do this with you guys here so we said $4.99 right? talk with you guys while I'm doing this and uh, let's see I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I feel like I don't really talk a lot about myself. So I am, in case you're new to my channel and you're not aware, I'm 29 years old. I decided in the beginning of the year of 2020 that I want to become debt free. And I started paying attention to my finances. And that's when, that's when also I decided to create an Etsy shop. So I could share with you guys a lot of the trackers. And you know for your financial goal. No matter what financial goal you're at. So I'm going to fill out the 490 here guys. And the 500 I'm going to leave it once I get the exact 500. I did went to college a few years ago. I, I have a degree in political science. I do not do anything related to my major and I'm okay with it because I like, you know, finance. That is truly my passion and it took me, you know, a while to figure out that's what I love. And um, I live with my mom. Well, I always say that we live together. You know, we help each other out because I never, I always feel weird. I think it's just pointless me because I moved back to town when I finished college. Me living in the same town by myself and living somewhere else different not live with my mom like you know we financially that's what worked out for me and i feel like some people do like to um judge and be like well why are you this age and you're living with your mom well technically we we help each other i'm not freeloading of my mother um if anything i have the major responsibility if you see my budget of my home because I decided, so, because my mom is retired and, uh, you know, she's living her life. And I don't want to put that pressure, financial pressure on her if I could afford a lot of the stuff. But we do help each other. And that, it's been working for us until I have, you know, I'm married or I start dating someone and I decide I want to move out. I'm fine, perfectly fine. I have my space here at my home. I'm working on setting up um, space for an office guys let me tell you something i am going to open a sticker shop people i'm going to open a budgeting sticker shop 
but it's not going to be for now right now i mean i'm going to be working around um and my mom gifted me which was really nice of her she bought me a cricket and i'm very excited to start you know creating designs but that's not going to happen until like after january i may create like a launch update and i'll let you guys know when i wanted to go live but for now i'm focusing more on my on my current etsy shop thank you so much for watching this video hope that you guys all enjoy it please let me know in the comments below if you are currently doing an emergency fund or have started with a side, a side income to fund your emergency fund please let me know down below in the comments i'm so excited i hope you guys all enjoy this video and i will see you all in my next emergency update and my next video bye